The glue fillets on my rocket have dried. I did put uh, the extra fillets on the other side. Um, so now we'll attach um, the uh, transition, which acts like a nose cone. Um, you can do it two ways. One, you can either just tie it on like a normal rocket, or you could do like we did in the upper stage where we made the loops. Um, you know, you just make a two inch long loop. Uh, this makes it so you can uh, remove it rather quickly if you need to. So you would just slide it through there over the top and then just pull tight. And now your, uh, your nose cone is attached. Um, then the parachutes are, both of them are attached the same way. Um, the larger 18 inch parachute, or yeah, 18 inch parachute will go in the upper stage and the smaller one will go into the bottom stage. Um, just spread it out. Um, you'll notice that the, uh, the strings, um, instead of going from corner to corner, um, there's one in the middle that goes across that way. You can just pick them up like this, cross your fingers, um, pull tight, you know, to even them out like this, um, and then take this loop and pass it through the loop on the transition, open it up. I like to keep them uh, tight so you know where the apex is and then hold that at, at the other end and then pull tight here. And now your parachute is attached. Uh, so that concludes the construction portion. Um, I'm just putting this in here for now. Um, so then the rocket would be painted. And, um, and then after that, um, you'd get it ready for launch. Um, this one is all painted. And so in our next video, we'll start putting the electronics in and I'll show you how to hook up that as well. So we'll see you into the next video.